All right, welcome back. You know, last time I played a Wii game that you've probably never heard of. Today, I'm going to play a game that I'm certain we've all played a little bit too much, and that's NASCAR Thunder 2004. I still haven't fully decided if this challenge is genius or absolutely stupid, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to go to Martinsville with Legend AI difficulty, 100% race length, that's 500 laps of potential misery. Obviously, no assists. We're going to have to pit for one reason or another, whether it be tires or fuel, we're gonna have to do it several times. Damage is normal, so that means I can screw myself and DNF out of this race, and there will be cautions. Between Martinsville itself, the natural attrition of it, Christian Fittipaldi causing a caution every single cycle of pit stops, and the potential for soft locking when we try to come down pit road with the rest of the field. I'm not sure how many attempts this is gonna take, but uh, let me put it this way. I've started recording at 7.30 in the morning. I'll let you know what time it is when I'm done. This race marks the return of Flip with him after his championship run. And one more thing before I start, the legend drivers are in this field. That's just to make the field more competitive. So, step one, I gotta qualify last. And if you're keeping track of sand barrelings, there's number one. There's no turning back now. Welcome once again to Martinsville, Virginia. MRN is proud to present live coverage of today's Martinsville 500. This track presents quite a challenge for the drivers and the crews, doesn't it, Barney? Drivers work the brakes hard at this racetrack. It's like two drag strips with short turns. The wear and tear these cars take from the track is bad enough, then add in some good old beating and banging with other cars. Now that's stock car racing, baby. The suffering begins now, but the regret starts later. They're going to check up into one. I know that part. Oh, Junior. He's just as dumb as me. So I need to somehow make my way through this field without destroying my right front, because that's like the most sensitive corner of the race car when it comes to the damage in this game. Junior's doing 90% of the passing for me. He makes the hole. I just follow through. Oh, I got to get through. He's starting to stall out. Kenny. I'm having flashbacks of the career mode already. Elmo, come on. That's not a Martinsville corner entry. I'm telling you, this car has got it going on. Like, compared to any of the crap wagons I drove in the career mode, this thing feels like it sticks like glue. Ah, yeah, lap cars. Check it. There's too many laps for me to be able to afford getting angry at this. Hermy. Hermy, calm yourself. Calm yourself. Ah, uh, that's gonna be a problem. Uh, wouldn't be a race with Flip with him without some of that. Up to third. Got one down low. I don't know what I was thinking trying to do it on the outside there. Crossover. I got him at the line by one one thousand. That's my first lap led. And that's the lead. Could you imagine? For a moment, if this race goes caution-free, like somehow if Christian Fittipaldi forgets how to cause cautions. In fact, because of the legend drivers, is he even in this race? He is not. My God, Christian Fittipaldi DNQ'd. So far, I haven't lost my cool with anyone, which I would say is a record. Okay, sure, I had to bring it up. Well, we're coming to pit road, and the game's probably going to soft lock. Oh, what? Okay. Thank you, Kevin Harvick. He managed to actually knock the game into working. Oh, we got one of them blown up. Kurt Busch. I think I managed to pin Gordon in lap traffic. I've already almost got seven seconds on him. I think that's about as low as you can exit turn two and still get away with it. Jeremy. Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremy. See, that's why you don't do that. Look at who's just up in front of me. That's Dale Jarrett. That's fifth place. Hey, uh, Jeff Gordon, you're about to go a lap down in second. So we've officially lapped the entire field, and we got a lot of laps to go. Who is our designated Fittipaldi caution? Because Christian didn't make the field, so who gets to do it? Is it Richard? Can it be Richard? All right. Don't worry about the car. It looks okay. No contest. So far, this race is like a 1970s Martinsville race, and uh, I think I'm Richard Petty. And just like Richard, I can say with confidence that my setup is better than everybody else's. 
Watch yourself there, Hermie. Number eight is outside. That was a regrettable decision. Oh my god. There's Matt Kenseth, and the field's now three laps down. This is getting a little stupid. I'm actually very impressed with how little attrition has mattered in this race so far. Only one DNF's been Kurt Busch. No one else has uh, really made a mistake except for me doing the self-spin, and that didn't really matter. You know what just occurred to me? I don't think Jimmy Johnson made this race. Yeah, J Jimmy Johnson flat out missed the field. I mean, if he missed it, why should I expect Christian Fittipaldi to make this field? How many times am I going to have to lap you, Hermie? Whoa. I wasn't sure if he was going to take the barrels or not. Couple top five cars are on their way into the pits. We have pit stops. Hopefully we get to see who is the new Christian Fittipaldi. There it is. Who is it? It's Mayfield. Jeremy Mayfield gets the Caution Clock Award for this particular Martinsville race. So we just trapped a bunch of cars several laps down, as if they weren't already at least five laps down, by the way. What are we doing? What are we doing here, Kenny? Huh? All right. Whoa. You were not clear right there, Elmo. Up the outside. Come on now. Caution. Well, what's happened? Greg Biffle. Lost it by himself. Look out! We're starting in the back, so be careful and stay out of trouble. What is this information you're reading here, crew chief? 18.894. Oh my god, sub-19 second lap. A little bit of Jeff Gordon contact, that part's necessary. Outside line move. Oh! I'm getting into the corners too good now. I nearly shoved Ward into the barrels again. I swear I'm not trying to do that on purpose. Come on. Steer clear of the 121 car, please. You're at least 10 laps down. So the right front quarter panel on the damage monitor is now in fact red. Oh! Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I am my own worst enemy. You know, that only figures. Jeff, I'm coming for you. I have to somehow damage the car even less than I did in the last run. I would say that the last run's about as good as I know how to do. You know what they say about racing, it's never over till it's over. You can have a 10 lap advantage and still screw yourself out of it. Yikes, yikes. This is gonna be the ultimate sanitary clean race experience at Martinsville. Hey, Jeff, as much as I'd love to rough you up for this position, I don't think I can afford to, so I'll just see you later. I'm gonna need my crew chief to remind me to be patient as many times as he can. Time to figure out a way to get this lead. I think Kurt's just shown me the way, actually. See ya. Lap 38. I actually got the lead quicker compared to the last time. Maybe that kind of shows you something about aggression. I just want to point out, my best lap of the first failed attempt was like an 18.8. I'm running like 20.2s, but I haven't hit anything. Slow and steady wins the race, doesn't it? I only need to win, technically, by one one-thousandth of a second. I might as well not push it for 500 laps trying to win by 15 laps. You are literally watching me learn racecraft. Now, I know I said that as I was running into Sterling Marlin, but still, you get the point. Oh, Mayfield, the caution clock is out! That might actually mean we can go caution free. That's a complete and total game changer. You know how, like, when you're on the interstate for too long, and you start developing road blindness, or you're getting, like, hypnotized by the painted lines in the road? I feel like I'm about to start having that. Whole field's down a lap. I pretty much pulled that off without damaging the car any. At this rate. I can make it about 180 laps on fuel with how much saving I'm doing. That is pretty nice, and I'm pretty sure that the tires would stay on it for that long since I'm really not asking anything out of them. I know better than to stick my nose into that now. I have the ability to stay out of messes, but I'm not sure if I have the actual brain power needed. Look at this, I've actually been so clean with this field that people are becoming friendly. Look at this, I'm racing Jeff Gordon cleanly. 
while the caution clock may have been eliminated, I'm still going to run long on this stint because I'd rather have the fresher tires at the back half of the run. I really don't know why I jumped to the outside to make that move work, but it was contactless. Yeah, they just pretty much give you the outside line in 3 and 4. I don't think they expect you to go up there, but they, they're they just leaving a complete passing line open. Number one, you're still there. Be patient. Thank you for the patience reminder. That was officially a third lap on the field. I think we're once again good to come down pit road and still hold on to the lead. Check it out. We got some cars on pit road. Dale Jarrett, Jeff Gordon, Bobby Labonte, some heavy hitters. Whoa, whoa. K. Joe Nemechek. Look at that, because Mayfield's out of this, no caution clock. Oh, never mind. Never mind, caution clock is official. Mike Skinner, there was still logic in me running long. I shouldn't be doing three wide stuff. If you can't set up the pass on the exit of one of the corners by getting the power down, better you just gotta wait until the next corner. Grab second, turn under him floor it and get around him. That's the only safe way to pass. Yeah, I think I've officially hit road hypnosis. I've realized I can kind of make artificial breaks in the traffic. Where, you know, if I don't like what the drivers are doing up in front of me, just get in front of the car that's behind me and start lifting a little bit. It gives me a little bit of separation. Never before have I been four laps ahead of second place and this worried all right three wide stuff not gonna be a part of it i'm not gonna end up as another statistic i really don't understand the mentality of it of a nascar driver because you know imagine doing this but it's a hundred times harder not to mention a hundred times hotter you don't have easy access to a toilet and you can't pause for the ever increasing numbness in the lower extremities Getting into the corners with lap traffic, it feels like every single lap I have to jump on the brakes to avoid an accident. I'm trying to stop from going over the railroad tracks while there's a train coming. It's that level of urgency. I don't know if it's possible, but I, it, it genuinely feels like the laps are going slower all of a sudden. Number six, now left. I'm impressed no damage came out of that. Ha! Ah, never mind. Still there. Caution! Someone screwed it. It's Kevin Harvick. So he just flat out runs out of talent in turn three and... Whoa! Brett Bodine blocking everywhere. Running 57th, 105 laps down. You're clear. Now realistically, there'd be some ridiculous fight after the race now. This is like trying to delicately balance 17 wine glasses on your head and walk a quarter mile uphill. I can't be doing stuff like that very often. I'm a little bit surprised at how little movement has happened throughout the field. I think Matt Kenseth is still in second. You almost think it's a next-gen race. Oh, we got one blowing up. Gonna be real careful here. Who is it? Oh, it's Benny. Man, oh man. I just saw Ward Burton on pit road, waiting for that phantom caution. There's Mike Skinner. Prepare for a caution in about 1.5 laps. Oh my god, lightning did not strike twice. Mike Skinner's completed his service, no caution. Ah, really, Russell? And that is eight laps on the field. 100 laps to go. I really can't believe this, but here I come. Of course, get held up by Jeff Gordon. But I'm making a green flag pit stop. I guess that was all right. We survived merging. This is at the point where it's like you gotta count your heartbeats. Hold your breath. Don't hit the sand barrels. Little bit of wall contact. Just enough. Just gotta, just gotta keep on it and try not to fall asleep. It's amazing, I had two mugs of coffee before this started. Still wasn't enough. Just hold your line. He's starting to feel comfortable racing with you. You're kidding me, I actually have allies. I'm racing them so cleanly that Kyle Petty now loves me. 
Another one blowing up. Ricky Rudd. Looks like the fake Wood Brothers are in the driver's seat now. By the way, Jeff Gordon, pretty sure this is the last time I'm going to see you in this race. Ah, three wide. I don't like it. Don't like it. Kevin LePage, I don't know why you're my friend, but I'll accept it. I think that was the first time I've gone three wide in this whole race. Look at those allies. Don't know how that's possible. Ten laps to go. Can confirm. I'm hearing noises that I've never heard before. The brake pedal's going to the floor. There's a knock in the bottom end. And I'm pretty sure the radio has come on. Alright, Martinsville. You have been conquered. Give me that grandfather clock. The 18 car. That's a win. Way to go. It is done. Almost three hours. I gotta say, that was not actually hard. It's just tedious. Yes! Not a single rival. It really doesn't get much better than that. Nine laps on the field. By the way, guess what time it is? It's 1.30 p.m. on the dot. Took me six hours to do this. I got a way to make this challenge more insufferable, though. What if I try it using the default setup? This is gonna feel tight for 500 laps. The only difference I'm gonna make to this setup is a manual transmission. Gotta start last again. You can't win a race if there's no car to finish with. I actually missed the barrels. Got it. Joe, I don't think there'll be a single car here at the end that doesn't have some damage. Although oftentimes a guy who can manage to stay out of trouble all race long might get a ticket to victory lane for his effort. We'll see if that holds true when this one is all over. I'm already screwing up. Okay. I'm, I'm yeah. I'm going to regret that 400 laps from now. All right, slowly, carefully, methodically, with precision. Man, why is there so many really, really good cars starting at the back? Jeff, Dale, Jarrett, and, uh, and Tony Stewart. Junior, don't even think about blocking on lap eight. We're really on it now. Ever since the leader got up into lap traffic, I've reeled him back in by three seconds. Little slip slidey. Good pass. I had to blow the corner there so I wouldn't get ran into. What is Kenny Wallace doing in the top 15? Schrader? Schrader. You're in 50th. What's your problem? I can already tell you that traffic management is going to be today's cause of heartburn. And top 10. Steve, can you just get single file, please? And not do whatever you just did right there? I will pay you in cash money dollars to stop going three wide for Christ's sake. Lap 30. You're already a lap down. Just just cool it down a little bit. You don't need to rough up Hermie Sadler for 35th. Okay, Dale. Use your use your windshield. Come on. Whoa, 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 watch out, Bill. Watch out, Bill. Wow, Jeff Gordon is having a tough go at it. Richard Petty's already put him a lap down. All right, Jeff, let's make this nice and tidy. Don't mind me. Don't slowly list to the left like that. I don't like it. Bobby, you're getting pinned. Oh, ho, ho, Michael. Junior, get up in there. Do some blocking. Get all the DEI cars in on this. You've taken second. With the default setup, it took me 53 laps to get to the point. So from this point forward, we're looking at about 439 laps of careful driving. Of course, my fastest lap is a lot slower, but my normal in-traffic laps are just as slow as they were before because I'm at the mercy of traffic. That tiny little small bit of contact just made the damage indicator on my right rear show up. Highly disappointing. What is, what is this line? What is this line here, Jeff Green? This car is doing exactly what I had hoped it would. As the tires wear out, it's actually getting looser. 102 laps into the run, and this car's finally coming to its own. Oh, man. I nearly did something real bad. That's how hard 
I tried to steer away from the 40 car was I shut off the HUD. Hey there, Richard. That's the whole field down one lap. 120 laps to do it. Get it sorted out there, gentlemen. All right, we got our first engine failure of the day. Let's see who it is. And it's Craven. Run top five, had a pretty good race going. Some of the leaders are coming in together. Pit stops. Oh, they're trying to wreck each other on pit road. Caution, it is Mayfield again. Mr. Jeremiah Caution Clock. Back at it again. Why is this game like this? Yikes. That's what it looks like when you're really going for it. And that's what it looks like when Jeff's upset. It's not my problem you're three laps down. It sounds more like a you issue. I would say that on flat out pace and on clear track that Richard Petty would still be the leader. But it all comes down to traffic management. Oh! That was a lot more contact than I wanted. I think Kyle's a little bit upset I ran into his dad. I just had to bail out of that. Watch it there, DJ. We've had another one blow up. Uh, that's... Oh, it's Jeff Burton. Another top five contender out of this thing. You know, you know, Tony. Just, you know. Is that a third one blown up? This is absolutely a race of attrition. Oh my god, it's Mayfield again. It's like the game knows. Once again, we might have a shot at a green flag cycle. We're halfway home. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Just put Richard Petty another lap down. Too close for comfort. Oh! Didn't realize the car would be able to grip like that turning right. What I was trying to do there, if you couldn't tell, was I was trying to avoid Kenny Wallace because I thought he was coming to the pits. He wasn't anyways. Oh, what is this? What is this traffic jam? And they're doing three wide up there? Bobby almost took out the barrels. Can't believe I get to do this again, but this is a green flag cycle of stops. And safely merged. Oh my god. Oh. Steve Park just forgot it. What is Jeff Gordon doing? Does Jeff hit the pace car or something? I think Jeff hit the pace car. Jeffrey, that's not how you're supposed to do it. I still got a huge advantage, though. At least two laps on everyone. Whoa, what are you doing there, Dale? Richard almost took out the wall. Who's coming to pit road there? Jeff Gordon. Try not to hit the pace car this time there, buddy. What have they done? Don't tell me it was Jeff Gordon. Please don't tell me. Jeffrey, you make Christian Fittipaldi proud. <laughs> sure, man. Sure. It's not like it matters anyway. That is still going to affect your paycheck, though. Just want to point out the top three in this field. Flip with them. Richard Petty. Dale Earnhardt. At this point, me and Richard Petty, we're playing a bit of a game of cat and mouse because... I don't know when he's going to come to pit road. I don't really know when I'm going to come to pit road, but I'm planning on one lap after him. Do not hit the sand barrels. And there's another lap on Richard Petty. Uh, almost hit the inside wall back there. I didn't expect to see this in this race. Ally Jeff Gordon. I flat out thought Elmo was going to stop in the middle of the corner there. Whoa! What's your problem? You're lucky I'm worried about damage, because otherwise you'd be in the sand barrels right now, pal. Oh, that was Richard Petty on pit road. I'm going to run this out a few more laps just to make sure nobody causes a phantom yellow. And then I'm coming in. We've had plenty cars cycle through just fine. So I am headed to pit road once again under green. Feels so weird to say. Now let's just cruise this baby to the finish. Oh man, Tiny! Stay out of there! What are they doing up here? That's three wide! Just get this race over with, please. 
Look at Mikey! White flag. Michael Waltrip has gone completely insane. Martinsville is complete with the default setup. That's a win. I sat clutching this this controller for three hours. I think every muscle in my body aged 40 years from doing this. Only one lead change in 500 laps. I led 448. Richard Petty led 52. This race looks like it happened in the 70s. I ended up winning by three laps, and the margin from Petty back to Labonte is another three laps. All right, I got one more idea. 500 laps, and I have to break NASCAR's caution record. I'm once again using the default setup. Another added challenge right now is I'm actually quite tired. The record for cautions at the cup level is 22, and pretty sure that the overall caution record is 26. And that was a bush race at Hickory, if memory serves me correctly. Either way, I'm gonna knock both those numbers right out of the park. Don't miss him. That somehow wasn't bad enough to kill this thing. You sure like to make the race interesting, don't you? Barney, these pit crews will be busy all race long. Martinsville is known for great fender-to-fender -fender racing. Yeah, the short, flat, and narrow surface causes a lot of cars to get together here. Sometimes it's unintentional, but usually it's a friendly reminder of who's running around you. So, I need to cause exactly 27 cautions. And once I accomplish that number, I can carry on with my day like this is any normal average race. Debris cautions will count because cars will only have enough damage to produce debris cautions due to things such as that. Whoa, Schrader! Full-blown somersault. I'm not even gonna touch McMurray, watch this. Didn't have to do anything. That was expensive. We got some cars with fresh rubber behind us. The whole field pitted. Guys, I didn't get the memo. I can solve this problem. That just destroyed him. Get the sand out of the barrels to put the fire out. You know what? This race is going to be a lot easier to control from the front, even if I am on worse rubber. Number 40. Pace car is already on a fast track to leading the most laps. If my math is correct, and by math, I mean I tried counting while sleepy, the next caution will be caution number 27, the NASCAR National Series record. 28 car. There it is. We have the record that no one would ever want. This top five here is absolutely ruined. Mike Skinner, Casey Mears, Jack Sprague all up in there. What have I done to this field? I'm coming to pit road. I wonder how many rivals I've made. 32 cars still running. I'm gonna restart 31st. Three wide. Made it work. DJ just, I might have been the guy who caused 27 cautions, but, but race with a little bit of respect. For 27 cautions, this field is actually relatively undamaged, except for the fact that we're missing quite a few cars. Top 10. Yeah, I didn't really realize this at first, but I've actually made this race significantly easier. There's less cars, meaning less traffic flow, and I destroyed a lot of the cars that had a good shot at fighting with me, especially Richard Petty. There's the leader, Sterling Marlin. I uh, probably shouldn't go three wide for it. Debris caution. Well, that was an instant debris caution. That was stupid. Wait, the debris came off me? Really? Just for the fun of it, I might as well come down pit road. Restarting 31st. Easy on the bump, buddy. Johnson passing the grass. That's caution number 30. <laughs> Instantaneous. Back to the point. So it looks like most of the field pitted, and I decided not to. I'm gonna have to come up with some reason why that was the smart thing to do. We will save money on tires. Oh, we got a car blown up. That's one less car that will see the checkered flag. 
I think that's the closest I've ever got to any car without touching it. I had to really, really jump on the brakes there to not slam into the back of the 40 car. I mean, Sterling almost took my engine with him. That is caution number 35. Hey, there's some contact out there. Give me some tires and more importantly, fuel. Four cars down low. We have literally every single car running up in front of us. Oh, uh, watch yourself, Three Kenneth. Wide. Probably shouldn't be making this move. Yeah, maybe. Yes, no, maybe so. Jerry, corner exit. Get near the wall. Little quick, little quick into the corner. I don't know how I didn't touch Jerry. Barrels. I just saw lives that weren't even my own flash before my eyes. Engine failure. And that's Yarborough. Look at Sterling Marlin behind me. That's the fourth place car. One car left to go through, and that's Dale Earnhardt. Ooh, a little bit of contact. You know, that hood on Kenny Wallace's car looks like it's going to be falling off in a few laps. Debris caution. It was Kenny Wallace's hood. I knew it. That thing was being held on by bubblegum. All right, two cars on the lead lap. I'm one of them. Give me tires. And we're back into the lead. That's a whole field down one lap. Loose. The continuation of loose. I am both in the zone and also zoned out at the same time. Well, there's Kawiki right in front of us. There goes the field a second lap down. Ah, man. Phantom caution or debris caution? Jeremiah caution clock. He just caught a lot of cars down several laps. Yeah, I'm pitting. Doesn't matter. Another engine failure. Joe Nemechek. Don't wreck it now. The track motto of Martinsville should be continuous circulation. Hey look, Sadler's no longer my rival. I mean, he still doesn't like me, but he just doesn't want to do anything about it anymore. The eight car is outside. That was just a terrible idea. 100 laps to go. And there goes the field four laps down. So here we go for our one and only green flag cycle of stops in this race <laughs> and I'm still the leader because of how many cars wrecked out there's just so much less traffic it's all spread almost evenly wow and there's five laps on the field but Mayfield just stopped on pit road well this race did not need any more cautions Jeremiah, with one last caution to make Fittipaldi proud. Might as well burn up some more money and waste another set of tires. Oh, no. We made it. We survived. Crisis averted. Single file restart. Let's get it. This is the most clear track I've ever seen at this place. Kawiki spun out on his own in second. Why? Dale Earnhardt set a 4.3 second lap. I believe it. If anyone else screws up, this race ends under caution. The Martinsville Madness Challenge of, I think, 39 cautions results in a victory by five laps above Alan Kawicki, who tried to wreck himself out of the race. Way to bring it home. I am telling you, I need sleep. We set the caution record, and I have more allies in this race than rivals. I actually counted correctly, even with extreme sleep deprivation. 39 cautions for 117 laps. I led 419 laps out of 500, and I only won $170,000. I feel like for the caution record and all things considered, there should have been a $5 million bonus. Only 29 cars running at the finish. Well, I've pretty much ran out of ideas on how to up the ante here, and uh, I think I've proved everything I wanted to prove. And also, I'd like to give a big shout out to all of my channel supporters. Your support makes a big time difference on the production of these videos, and I really can't thank you enough. 
In the next video, I plan on taking a look back at NASCAR 99, a game which is both ridiculously arcadey, but also more fun than it ever should be. But anyways, I really hope you enjoyed today's video, and as always, I'll see you next time.